All right, guys, this is from the second week of May 2016. Uh, this is Delaware, uh, Delaware waters. We're on the Delaware Bay, and we got the kayaks out on a really calm day. This is an unusually slick, calm afternoon on the bay. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock right now. I'm with my buddy Romo. That's Romo in the blue kayak. Uh, you can check out his YouTube channel in the description below. He's got some videos. been making some videos recently. But um, we are pedaling out into the bay right now, slick calm, overcast, really nice weather, and we're fishing for black drum, and black drum enter the bay usually in April or May, and I don't know, the fishing can be good um, anytime, third week, second week, first week, fourth week of May, anytime in May you can catch drum, even June and July you can catch drum um, in the Delaware Bay. Uh, as you can see, the sun came out, this is probably two o'clock, uh, this is about 4 o'clock now. Uh, wind starts picking up a little bit. Still pretty nice out. Um, the fleet out here, as you can see, there's a couple boats out on the horizon. Um, that's our bait. We're using clams. Funny story about these clams. Uh, we're on the Delaware side, and we couldn't buy clams in Delaware. There was no clams in Delaware. All the tackle shops were sold out. And uh, what happened was Romo drove to New Jersey to get clams. He went to two tackle shops in Cape May to get clams that he had reserved. Uh, it was like the last clams around. And then he took the ferry uh, from Cape May to Delaware, and and here we are drum fishing with the clams. So props to Romo for supplying the clams on this trip. And uh, we're just throwing out these big globs of clam. Uh, we got nothing like all day. It was dead all day. I got one skate all day. Uh, this is about 5.30. You can see there's a fleet now. People are here for the evening bite. Evening is usually the time the drum bite. And... Just as planned, you know, right around 5.36 o'clock. Oh, yeah, there's something good. Oh, yeah, there's something. That's a ray. Cow knows for sure. Gotta be a cow nose ray. I see him out there. Uh. Uh. Or is it a drum? Oh, it's a drum, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, he took off like a ray. I swore it was a ray, and then he hit the surface. I was like, damn, that's a ray for sure. But that's a nice drum. This is a pretty nice one. Pretty, pretty nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. Wow. Great fight, too. Fought great. Oh, it is fighting great. Yeah, look at that. Uh, he ain't too big for a drum. Oh. Alright, that is the targeted species right there, black drum. He's got some. He's fighting. He's fighting real good. He's not that big. He's probably like, I don't know. I've been seeing him. He's not like a monster. I thought he'd be a monster. He's probably like 35 pounds, 40 pounds. He's nice. That's a nice drum. That's a nice drum. Ew. Oh, here he is. Oh. First drum of the year for me. Just as advertised around around uh, evening. It's when these things usually tend to bite. 
That's a pretty good fish. Pretty good fish there. Oh yeah, he's drumming. Let's see if I can't slip a boga grip in him. Hmm. Almost, yep, he's ours. He's ours. Gonna put this back here. We're gonna release this fish. And uh yeah, man, this is a nice fish. Nice little drum. These things grow to over 100 pounds. So this one isn't a giant, but those, those size fish, 100 pounds, very rare, very rare size. This is much more common size, 30, 40 pounds. So there he is. Yeah, that one's not bad. Maybe, let's see if it bottoms out the boga. Oh yeah, he bottom, way bottoms it out. Yeah, he's probably 40 pounds. All right, very nice, very nice, nice little drum fish. Nice little uh, Delaware side drum. Second week of May. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice one. I know. First drum looks like one of the first drum in the fleet this evening, taken via kayak, and uh, I don't know, we might get some more. Still got some time, but that's a good start. That was probably 40 pounds or so. Bottomed out the boga pretty quickly with his tail still in the water. Here's my anchor. Oh yeah, another guy hooked up. All right, it's on now. Using a big nine-aught J-hook. And then just loading up the clams, loading up the clams. Trying to get as many clams on here as we can. Fend off the trash fish. Get the drum interested. I'm gonna have to uh, readjust my anchor line after I get this out because my anchor line is all messed up. But first we gotta get back in the water. Just about there. That's the spot. Starting to pick some drum here. The fleet's starting to pick some drum. Starting to see some action out here. This boat here, and that boat there. And the boat just past these two boats. The three of them haven't caught anything. But uh, the boat ahead of me and the boat just up here to the right, they're hooked up right now. So, we're, lo we're looking good. Everyone's hooked up, hooking up on drum right now. Three boats are hooked up. Looks like the school came through. That's crazy how they just turned on like that. Sad one, two, three, four, five drum bites, uh, five drum caught. Five drum caught in the last 20 minutes since I got that one. Getting a little rough out here. It's a little sporty. Fun in the kayak though. Like all this old junk clam right here, this is all junk. Good chum. Good chum. Gotta chum the drum. Trying to chum the drum. Alright, so shortly thereafter, okay, watch my rod tip here. Ready? Watch my rod tip. Bam, real mm. slow and low. Might have, a, might have just had a drum bite there. Alright, watch it again, real quick. Watch it again. Ooh, might have just had a. So, yeah, that thing was barely. He just nudged it, like, real slow, just a, a nudge, and then there's nothing. You can see my rod, there's nothing there. Right? Or is there? Alright, we're going to speed this up. And basically, this fish is on there during this whole time. He has it for like a minute. And he's just slowly, very, 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 very slowly and lightly. And like you would never even notice that it was on there. But he's definitely on there. And I don't really know that at the time until I set the hook. And...
Just broke one off. Yeah. Swung too hard. That sucks. So yeah, I mean, that was definitely a drum and I swung for the fences and it just snapped. And uh, I don't know about Power Pro. I don't know if you guys like Power Pro. I have problems with Power Pro. I don't know why I'm still fishing with Power Pro on this rod. I like Suffix 832. I don't have problems with Suffix 832, but um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's 50 pound braid and it just snaps like on nothing. So I don't know what to say about that other than, you know, I'm going to take that Power Pro off and try to get some better braid on there. And then this was a cast or two later. Here's a drum. Uh, you can see my rod kind of going down real slow. Just again, barely. Look at that. Tip, tip, bam, bam. He's taking it. He's taking it. I think he's swimming towards me. He might still have this. Okay, I think we got to I think this drum's still on here. Yeah, that's a drum there. Oh, yeah. There's a drum. Romo's gonna hate me. I'm not even gonna tell him I'm hooked up. This one doesn't feel too big. Yeah! Oh, I hear him. Oh, oh, so gold. Oh, so gold. Small drum, small drum. Ooh. This one is colored like a red drum. The color on him is crazy, so gold. It's not too big. This will be one of the smaller drum. Oh man. Where's my boga grip? Little drum, little drum. Real nice though. Multiple drum. He's not especially big, but cannot complain when catching drum. I love the way they make noises. I love the way they drum. Yeah, so that's gonna be a smaller one. This one here is about 22 pounds. 22 pound drum. Uh, awesome fish though. And just hearing them drum is amazing. They have this like really loud, deep bass drum noise that they got. So that's a 22 pound drum. Very gold, too. Oh, gold color. I'm gonna release them. Check out the barbels. Barbels under the chin. Almost like a catfish. All right, I'm gonna release it. Yeah, yeah. All right, they're biting. Drummer biting. 22 pounds. He looked real small. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, caught two drum and missed one, well, lost one. And, uh, I mean, we fished till dark, and I didn't have any more drum bites after that. Uh, Romo ended up getting one, about 20, 22 pounds. And, uh, I mean, we were watching the boats in the fleet pick at them. Some boats, some boats didn't get anything, while other boats seemed to do pretty well, had, like, five fish. Um... Yeah, I don't know, that's about all I got, and I'm thinking about the future. Uh, these drum are going to be getting bigger as the season progresses. I mean, they're going to be around for a few weeks, so definitely have plenty of time to get on these drum. And uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. There's going to be some other videos coming up soon. Striper's drum, flounder, flounder opens soon, so stick around.